Hello and welcome to Elk Camp. For this week's episode, I want to take you along on some exciting Arizona archery hunts. You know, the goal will be to not only entertain you, but to also give you some tips as to how I'm calling in each one of these bulls on the episode. So come along with us and enjoy some exciting elk hunts here at Elk Camp. I'm Steve Chappell, and welcome to Elk Camp. Steve has, has quite a reputation. You can't talk about elk hunting without somebody bringing up Steve Chappell. You know, watching all his videos and stuff, growing up like it was just his personality and the way that he hunted and it seemed like it would be really exciting and a lot of action So early on in the hunt, we head out in the afternoon, and after getting a bull to respond to my location bugle, we move in on what ends up being a great herd bull. I've learned over the last few years that the hardest thing about calling herd bulls in is to get tight with them and their cows. That's the hardest part to do without getting busted. Once you get in that super close position, using aggressive bugling is what I found to work the best. On this particular setup, I use chuckling, aggressive bugling, and also an aggressive lip ball to work this bull and finally get him to leave his cows and commit to us. Again, it's all about distance and blowing the call in a manner that makes a statement to get that bull to leave his cows. Elk Camp with Steve Chappell is brought to you by Bergara Rifles, our barrels make the difference. Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls, we call the game. Zeiss Sports Optics, confidence in the toughest conditions. Scree, extreme mountain gear. And by Steve Chappell's Zero Hunt Fees. Experience Arizona elk hunting with zero hunt fees. Elk Camp with Steve Chappell is brought to you by Bergara Rifles, our barrels make the difference. Just every day, every day was amazing. There wasn't a day that we didn't get on bulls, that we didn't, you know, try to work something and, and have something come in.
I believe that the difference maker on this hunt was finally getting close enough to this bull and getting within his zone, you know, about 150 yards. And when he heard that nasally sounding cow call, well, he just couldn't resist. Notice how when this bull is already committed, we give him just enough to keep him encouraged to come in, but we don't overdo it either. Don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. Don't shoot him, Mark. Don't shoot him. Passed a lot of shooters in any other unit with any other tag, you know, anywhere else in the world. I'm sure that it would have been day two and you would have seen more than enough animals to finally harvest one. He came from nowhere, just all of a sudden. I think he only bugled once. Way far away. Yeah. I mean, he's just been coming in. Yeah, they've been coming in the whole time. His style of hunting with calling him in, it's super intense. It's amazing how he can elicit whatever response he needs from them, whether they're, you know, going crazy or a little bit call shy or, you know, timid, and you know, he he gets them to come well within bow range. We have to deal with a tricky wind this morning, and as we play the wind and move toward the bull, I have the suspicion that he has cows because he just won't budge. And as we get close to the bull and lightly bump one of his cows, my suspicions are confirmed. I immediately use the situation to make him think that another bull has moved in and is trying to steal his cows. Notice how I use an aggressive chuckle and a heavy lip ball to get him to break loose and come in and check us out. You guys are trying to tell me where he's at. We don't have to whisper anymore on this hunt, buddy. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, that was great. Nice job, man. Man, being conservative like that, we yeah. waited until 2 o'clock in the afternoon. He went, what, 100 yards? 100 yards. If that, with, yeah, with blood, blood all the way. Trail. Yeah. That's how you want it to end. Absolutely. Just oh. let you touch it. <laughs> Let's get our hands on him, huh? Outstanding. It's been just such an eventful hunt. We've called in so many bulls along the way and passed it. Oh yeah. Passed bulls every day at under under 30 yards. You really make it easy on a bow hunter. <laughs> Top pin, you take all the all the stress off of it. Uh, amazing Steve. Absolutely amazing how you can talk to these animals. We we made it work, Mark. Absolutely. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much.
This episode of Elk Camp is sponsored by Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls. We call the game. Hey guys, for this week's tip, I want to demonstrate the chuckle for you. Now I feel that the chuckle conveys more emotion and punctuation at the end of a bull's bugle. And in the right scenario, you can use this call to be the difference maker for you as you're calling to bulls out there. So now that you know about the call, let me demonstrate it for you. Guys, remember you can use the chuckle to convey more emotion at the end of your bugles and sometimes it can be just the difference maker that you need. I want to wish all of you the best of luck on your hunts this fall. This episode of Elk Camp is sponsored by Steve Chappell's Zero Hunt Fees. Experience Arizona elk hunting with zero hunt fees. This episode of Elk Camp is sponsored by Zeiss Sports Optics. Confidence in the toughest conditions. Steve is, uh, Steve is the elk whisperer. He is really a good caller. Uh, one thing I notice, he likes to really get in tight on the bulls before he starts calling. But uh, then he's got several different calls that he uses, and believe it or not, when they finally got my bull to come in, he, he actually used the bugle. Now we're deep into another Arizona archery hunt with John Holzheater. You know, this hunt had early season dates on this particular year, so overall the hunt has been challenging up to this point but we're about to have a great encounter on this particular evening. On this particular hunt, we encounter a call shy bull that I assume has played the game a few times during the season. So I pretty much have to throw everything I've got at him to finally get him to commit. Well, after we take a look at the footage, I noticed that the shot got quite a bit of shoulder. And so we sneak down very cautiously and take a look to see if we can see the bull down at last light. And when we don't see him and we have no blood to go on, I decide that the wise decision is to back out. Okay, 
It's a great morning and we're back here after an exciting evening last night. So we're gonna go track him up this morning. We gave him overnight, um, just playing it real conservative. We do not want to lose this bull. So uh, we're about to go get on the track and follow up on it. And uh, we'll show you the bull when we get there. Got him. Got him. <laughs> you know, you can never be sure until you walk up on him. Oh, he is a nice yes, he is. Look at the Look beams. The I told you. <laughs> Look at the fronts and thirds. Wow. <laughs> wow, John. Thanks, buddy. Great job. Great really hunt. Appreciate it. Oh, man. We earned that Good bowl. Goal, Are yeah. you kidding me? Oh. That's a big genetic five point right there. That is a cool looking bull. And the way we did it too, calling him in. <laughs> Had a lot of fun hunting with you, John. Oh. It's been a venture all the way. Enjoyed it. You know, it's been a, been a tough hunt. It hasn't been easy for us. The bugling's been really off this year, kind of here in that statewide, but you know, we still managed to call in a few bulls and um, you know, finally had a, what I call a good clean setup on this bull. It ultimately was the bugle you said that turned him yeah, around. Finally, you got yeah. a time to come in, and you would think that the call call would yep. do more than the bugle, but it, yep. that's why you try everything you got sometimes. That's right. You got to have the whole tackle box sometimes. But, uh, I, I told you from the start that elk do not know who they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for yeah. the vote of confidence. Oh, sometimes yeah. I was yeah. questioning it. You're but great. You're great. It all worked out. Elk Camp with Steve Chappell is brought to you by Bergara Rifles, our barrels make the difference. Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls, we call the game. Zeiss Sports Optics, confidence in the toughest conditions. Scree, extreme mountain gear. And by Steve Chappell's Zero Hunt Fees. Experience Arizona elk hunting with zero hunt fees. This episode of Elk Camp is sponsored by Scree. Extreme Mountain Gear. To conclude this episode, let's go along on a hunt with me and great friend and client, Perry Berry. You know, Perry and I enjoyed a successful hunt here in Arizona a couple of years ago. And on this particular year, we're in a different unit, but we're hoping to enjoy the same kind of success. As with the last hunt, the weather on this hunt is very rainy and unpredictable again, and it's causing the bugling to be very spotty and unpredictable. So I decide to go ahead and wind up my aggressive Esther scream call and see if that might just make all the difference for us. Gary, good job, man. Good job. Good job. That was fun. Thank, thanks for telling me to blow this call, too. You bet. We had to try something. To try something. <laughs> and to stir them up, man. They don't want to do it on their own, so we made them. That was a good time. <laughs> Just like last time, brother. <laughs> Let's 
it's just he's in there and I don't I think it was a great hit, but I just don't know. Yeah, we'll just take our time. That's the thing about tracking. Just just take our time and this is what it's up. Awesome, bud. Good job, Good hunt, man. Awesome, awesome. You always make it happen when it's go time, you know? Yeah. When the chips are down, you come through just like last time, three years ago. So. Well, it sure makes it nice when you can pull them within bow range and they're preoccupied looking at your, your call, so. Gary gave me some encouragement to use the right call at the right time this morning. I tell you what, it worked. Gary, nice That's job, man. Incredible call, that estrus cow, it works. Yeah, they never they never come out where you want them to, but we made the best of it. You made a nice shot, Gary. Yeah, thank you. Nice great shot. shot. Exactly. Yeah, well, thanks, guys. It was a great hunt, great experience, and once again, I really appreciate all the the opportunities to hunt with you over the last few years. It's yeah. been fun. We love to hunt with you, Perry, and hope you get drawn again here yeah. real soon. Yeah, exactly. We'll hope it's next year again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We're <Real> calling <laughs> you. Exactly. Good job, Good again. Job, nice job. Good job, Gary. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, Gary.